Hello, Belly Mutants. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about, or not really talk about per se. I guess we're going to do a little bit of talking about in this video. But um, we're going to be uh, reacting to the uh, um, um, Ahsoka trailer, which I did thumbs up immediately. Um, that's titled Get Ready. Now, as you guys may know, I am, I have been a Ahsoka fan since the very beginning. I love the character. I think she's a pretty good character. The only thing I'll say about the character that will be remotely negative at the, this time being is that I think that she should have died in her duel with Vader in, in, um, in Rebel Season 2 and Mandalore, wow, Tandalore, whatever for that planet was. I think she should have died at the hands of Vader. Now, she didn't, but, again, I I like the character. I think, like, again, I think she should have died, but I will be giving this show a shot. Um, so, uh, I'm hoping it's not bad. Um, again, Ahsoka should have died in her duel with Vader, in my humble opinion, if anyone asks. Anyway, let's react to the, uh, Get Ready trailer, right? War is coming. When the stakes are this high, it takes a master and an apprentice to defeat our enemy. What makes someone ready? You just know. Mm. Ahsoka 2 episode premiere streaming August 23rd. Okay, so that wasn't exactly a, uh, why did I get out of screen share? I meant to play this while I was talking, hold on. My bad, my apologies. There you go. So I don't think that this is exactly a bad trailer. It, it's a pretty good trailer, um. Doesn't really give us too much or too little. I think it just calls us the right amount. Um, my favorite part in here is when Hera does ask Ahsoka, "When is anyone truly ready?" or whatever. Um, of course, a lot of people are excited for the um, the potential, the very strong possibility of um. Anakin Skywalker being here. And I mean, like, that intrigues me, too. Um, I, I'm i curious if they're going to use, like, flashbacks, Ancestors, or Force Ghost Anakin. Um, if they're going to go with flashbacks, then I hope they do the whole de-aging thing better than they did in Kenobi. Because what we got in Kenobi, in terms of Anakin, like, the little practice sparring with Anakin and uh, Obi-Wan was good. I'm not... That's one of the few things I was gladly compliment the Kenobi show about. The Kenobi show was, for the most part, is eh, but that flashback when Anakin and um, Obi Wan was sparring at the Jedi Temple in Coruscant was good. Now the only complaint I have, which is a lot of people's complaint about that one flashback, is that they didn't de age like Anakin's face very well, right? And uh, even though you can tell, like, by his voice in, the, like, the last trailer um, that we got for Ashoka, um, that she, um, that Anakin's voice is a bit deeper. I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Real quick. Um, Force, there we go. Because I didn't, I didn't, I mainly react to this uh, when I came out either, so. Mute. Everyone in the Order knew Anakin Skywalker. Few would live to see what he became. By the end of the Clone Wars, I walked away from him. And the Jedi. 
In this war, you will face more than just droids. As your master, it's my responsibility to prepare you. I won't always be there to look out for you. I could use the help. Once a rebel, always a rebel. Don't be afraid. Hey. Trust your instincts. I guess boys seem to be afraid. I know you can do this, Asalka. Like his voice is a bit deeper than it was in Revenge of the Sith. In my humble opinion. And so, like, I would have liked for them to, like, make him sound more like he, he how he sounded in Revenge of the Sith. Because, like, sir, his voice was a tad bit deeper than it was in, like, Attack of the Clones. But at the same time, I rather hear his voice, like, be a, a tad bit not as deep as it is in this film. Because, like I said, at least in the flashbacks, um, sounding like more like Revenge of the Sith Anakin. Force Ghost Anakin, okay, I don't mind that I'm like having Hayden Christian's voice how it is right now, but I don't know. Am I being too Nick picky? That's what only me, but my initial point was if they're going to use Anakin in flashbacks, right? I do hope that they use will use like better use the de aging process because like. In the Kenobi show, like I said, the training scene itself was fine. I love that. But, like, Anakin looked too old to be a teenager. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, um, hopefully they'll do a better job at the, the aging process if they're going to use flashbacks to Anakin in the phone wars, right? Anyways. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, love you guys. Have one over there, be kind one other. Just... And those those two trailers make me more excited about the uh, show? I don't know if excited would be the word. I think interesting. Er, interested is the better word. Interested. Sure. Um, Because I'm kind of curious how they're going to use Anakin. I'm curious on, like, how they're going to portray Ahsoka. Even though, as I said in the start of this video... That I, and I strongly do believe this. I can sort of died in her dual theater. And if they do have that, right? Then they got, like, first goes Anakin, right? Then that, of course, means that they have to, in my humble opinion, they have to have that scene between Luke Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano when they're, when they meet. Luke saying, I'm Luke Skywalker, and Ahsoka said, I, my master was, last name was Skywalker. And Luke says, what's your master's name, Anakin? And I said, that's my father. And something along those terms that will, like, segue them into, like, having Luke tell Ahsoka, yeah, Anakin, my father turned to the light side. He, before he died, he, in his final moments, I was, like, the Emperor was using the Force to kill me. And my father stepped in brought balance to the forest, and he was redeemed in the end. I feel like that conversation, of course, not exactly word for word, even though, but same premise, essentially, what I just said, they should have with Luke and Ahsoka in the Ahsoka show. I feel like it's one of those things that would be too... What's the word? That's a big opportunity. It's like a must-have opportunity to that they need to put into the Ahsoka show. Since we saw in Book of Boba Fett that Ahsoka and Luke already knew each other. And I get the sense that Ahsoka already knew that Anakin redeemed, like turned to the light at the end because Luke must have told him. So I would have I would love to see that conversation take place in the Ahsoka show. This is the right time. If they don't, I'll be very disappointed. So that said. What do you think about this? Um, these two trailers I uh, showed in the video. Um, I will be... Um, what's the word? Putting, dropping the links to both of uh, the video trailers that I react to in the uh, description down below. So if you guys want to give them a watch without like, really me talking over them, you guys can. With that said, love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind of one other. 
and I will talk to you fellow mutants later. Later, taters. And hope you guys have a awesome tackler day. I know I already sold this clip just at the beginning, but what the hell, I'm gonna do it again.